Band in the Box is a very useful tool for training your ear. This could be found by clicking on Practice, then choosing Ear Training. The ear training window is divided into two main parts, a chord tutor and an interval tutor. The chord tutor can be used to train your ear to recognize notes or chord extensions. For learning notes, just click on Guess a New Root and Band in a Box will play a note that you have to guess. If you are not sure what the note is, just hit Replay Root to hear it again. If you guess correctly, then Band in a Box will play another random note that you have to guess. For learning chord extensions, hit Guess a New Chord and Ben in a Box will play a random chord that you must guess. You can replay the chord again if you are not sure, then just click on one of the extensions. If you get the wrong answer, you must try again. As you guess chords right or wrong, your score will be kept. In the easiest mode, Band in the Box will only play one of these common chord extensions. If you are always getting a perfect score, you can increase the challenge by adding more possible extensions to guess from. Choosing Open Voicing will also increase the challenge. For example, every time Band in the Box plays a major 7th chord, it'll be a different version of it. Whereas a closed voicing will always be exactly the same. And you can increase the challenge even more by guessing the root note and the extension. If you have trouble guessing the root note, this button will always play C, so you can think relatively to find the root note. And if that is too difficult, you might want to try switching to the Interval Tutor. Knowing all your intervals, ascending and descending, will help a great deal in recognizing chord extensions. Start off in the easiest mode. This mode is easy mainly because the interval is always ascending, and Banana Box will only choose intervals from a major scale. So you know the correct answer will never be a minor second, minor third, flat fifth, minor sixth, or minor seventh. From there, it is a good idea to increase the challenge by making sure that you can recognize any of the 12 intervals, then maybe make sure you know descending intervals, then work your way to the hardest mode that really increases the challenge, starting on random notes that are ascending or descending within more than one octave, playing random intervals, and so on. And if you ever want to start with a clean slate, clicking the reset button will clear your score.